In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist today. It is Saturday in the 25th week of Ordinary Time, and we are celebrating the Saturday Mass of Our Lady. This Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Dahlia Tiziana Rota and in thanksgiving from the Santana and Duarte families. And now, let us confess to the Lord anything in our everyday lives that is unworthy of his gospel. Lord Jesus Christ, you seek and save those who are lost. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, you heal us and bring us peace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, you free us from sin so that we may rejoice with all your saints. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your faithful, who rejoice under the patronage of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, may be freed by her motherly intercession from all evils on earth and merit the attainment of eternal joys in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Rejoice, O young man, in your youth, and let your heart cheer you in the days of your youth. Walk in the ways of your heart and in the sight of your eyes. But know that for all these things, God will bring you into judgment. Remove vexation from your mind and put away pain from your body, for youth and the dawn of life are vanity. Remember also your Creator in the days of your youth, before the evil days come and the years draw nigh, when you will say, I have no pleasure in them, before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars are darkened and the clouds return after the rain, in the day when the keepers of the house tremble and the strong people are bent and the grinders cease because they are few. And those that look through the windows are dimmed, and the doors in the street are shut, when the sound of the grinding is low, and one rises up at the voice of a bird, and all the daughters of song are brought low. They are afraid also of what is high, and terrors are in the way, and almond tree blossoms. The grasshopper drags itself along, and desire fails because man goes to his eternal home and the mourners go about the streets before the silver cord is snapped or the golden bowl is broken or the pitcher is broken at the fountain or the wheel broken at the cistern and the dust returns to the earth as it was and the spirit returns to God who gave it. Vanity of vanities, says the preacher, all is vanity. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. You turn man back to dust and say, Return, O children of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, or like a watch in the night. You sweep them away like a dream, like grass which is fresh in the morning. 
In the morning it sprouts and is fresh, by evening it withers and fades. Then teach us to number our days, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Turn back, O Lord, how long? Show pity to your servants. At dawn, fill us with your mercy for love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Let the favour of God be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Oh, give success to the work of our hands. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. Alleluia, alleluia. Our Saviour Jesus Christ abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the Gospel. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, while all were marvelling at everything Jesus did, he said to his disciples, Let these words sink into your ears, for the Son of Man is to be delivered into the hands of men. But they did not understand this saying, and it was concealed from them, that they should not perceive it, and they were afraid to ask him about this saying. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today we've come to the end of Coeleth's book, the book of Ecclesiastes. And what we heard today was the final hymn to his observations on life. Um, it is a hymn, a poem, in our missal, in our daily missal, it's written as one paragraph, but where the space, it's laid out like a poem. The scripture commentator James Fisher calls this passage one of the most hauntingly beautiful poems in all of literature. So what's in this final poem that we listen to? As he does throughout his book, Coeleth, here again, pulls together the extremes in creation, enabling us to see them in one sweeping glance. Sunrise and sunset, darkness and light, the strength of youth, the weakness of old age, all of these find a place in his commentary on, on life. He talks of joy and sorrow, birth and death, and feels obliged to encourage the young to enjoy the youth and live it to the full. Follow the ways of your heart, the vision of your eyes, he tells them. And of course, in doing that, we are always reminded that we need to discern that in following the ways of our heart, that is true and authentic, and it is leading us to God, not taking us away from God. But Coeleth continues, before we know, the years will have gone, and what was once seemed to be unending will soon be a fading memory. The last scene from this poem is hauntingly graphic. Coeleth speaks of that day when the pitcher is shattered at the fountain, the wheel is broken at the cistern, the dust returns to the earth, the spirit returns to God who gave it. So contrary to Coeleth's own teaching though, all is not fleeting, all is not forgotten. Coeleth is still remembered and read, and his, his life was not empty and useless, for his insights continue to enrich us and they help us to think about our own lives, the purpose behind it all, which is key in understanding our journey towards God as we discover our purpose, the meaning of life. And now, let's offer up our prayers and petitions to the Lord. We pray for all priests and all the leaders in the church that they may understand 
and preach the hidden wisdom of the cross and the dynamics of redemption. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who work for human rights and human dignity, especially the basic right to life, that the Lord may prosper the work of their hands and hearts so that he can freely grant us peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the young, that the ways of their hearts and the vision of their eyes may be acceptable to God and that they may remember their Creator in all the, their days of joy. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the elderly. We pray for the sick. We pray for those who are approaching death, that before the pitcher is shattered at the fountain, they may make their peace with God and close their eyes, rich in His grace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all of our loved ones, whose spirit has returned to the God who gave it, that they may be with him in his kingdom of light and love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And now we pray for peace in Southern Africa. O God of justice and love, bless us, the people of Southern Africa, and help us to live in your peace. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, let me sow pardon. Where there is discord, let me sow harmony. Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, to receive sympathy as to give it. For it is in giving that we shall receive, in pardoning that we shall be pardoned, in forgetting ourselves that we shall find unending peace with others. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the, of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemor commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I use preface two of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the second Eucharistic prayer. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. 
For truly, even to earth's end, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, <clears throat> when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Booty and Duncan, our bishops, all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us just pause for a moment now as we pray for peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Dear friends, I now invite you to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are really here in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you more than anything in the world and I hunger to receive you. But since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul spiritually. I unite myself to you now as I do when I receive you. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>